everyone, welcome to this Come Charity Shopping With Me video. I'm Minx Laura123 and yeah, today I'm going to take you to some of my local charity shops. We're just going to be looking around, seeing what we can find. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. As you can see from my flying hair, it's very windy today. It's very, very windy today. So um, yeah, it's not actually cold, but it's windy. Um, really, I probably should have tied my hair back because this whole journey, my hair's just gonna be going on my face everywhere. Anyway, so um, yes, come charity shopping with me. Okay, so the first charity shop I'm gonna go into is the Samaritans. So we're gonna start off by looking at the uh, pound rail here outside. It's so windy out here. Oh, look at the skirt. Hold on. So I've just looked. This is a size 16 skirt and it is from Dorothy Perkins. It's like um like a tartan kind of vibes kilt, isn't it? I like the little belts, like the mini belts at the top as well. So yeah, that's good for a pound. And it's a size 16 plus size clothing does sell better for me. Or actually it might even fit me. It's nice. And I've just seen this as well. This is an England kit, like a kid's England kit, and it is official. So it's the Nike one, or Nike, Nike, whatever you want to say. I'll have that. I don't know if it's a pound each, like a pound for the top and then a pound for the shorts, or it's a pound for the whole kit, but either way, that's still a really good bargain. Okay, let's have a look. What have we got? What have we got? So this is a size 18 from Primark, and it's like this. A brown coloured velvety material long skirt which I think is pretty cool for a pound it's worth a go okay let's go inside out of the wind front puzzles I wish I could do puzzles but I'm just useless at puzzles I used to love this show when I was young I used to watch it old Del boy <laughs> Rodney Oh, it's like a little, little furry bag. It's all fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. I think they would make me a bit taller, wouldn't they? <laughs> that wedge on them. But they're only a size three and I'm a size five. I'm a big fan of Frank Sinatra. Regrets, I've had a few. I was looking at the men's jackets and oh, coats and stuff $6.50 mm. this is cool look at that an Everlast jacket and it's size XXL but it is um, it's £10 which is a little bit too much I think I don't want to spend too much on stuff, you know. Lots of uh, ties. Oh, it's a nice blue one. Oh, that one's cool. I used to love wearing ties myself. <laughs> I used to go to the pub in like a little black vest top with like different coloured ties back in the day. There's um, a Flintstones tie there. <laughs> I had one of these ages ago. Oh, look. A pound each. Should we grab a should we grab a Flintstones tie? Ooh. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's cool. oh my god, I was literally, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know, I was gonna get this for Nathan um for Christmas that was in the works. And I didn't get it in the end because I got him something else and I kind of regretted it. I was like, oh, I should have got him that coin drop machine. I found it for three quid. Look at this. I'm hoping it all works and everything, but it's worth a risk for three quid. <laughs> I'm going to play it as well. <laughs> it's Harry and Megan there. I'm sorry, I am team Kate and Wills. Okay, so now I'm heading to South End Insight charity shop. Look like they've got like a baby themed window display they always have nice window displays here like all different themed ones okay this is 
pretty cool. Soap and Glory, like, big case. Ooh, I love Soap and Glory stuff. I mean, it's Valentine's Day coming up soon, so all, like, the lipstick kisses and stuff. Hmm. Fortunately, there are some, like, little stains and stuff on it, so I'll have to leave that. Fiver, but it's gonna get hot soon, isn't it? People aren't gonna be looking for like coats, are they? Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. This is uh, a Mickey Mouse night dress, and it is 18 to 20 from Primark. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab that three quid. What's the scores on the door? Have you, have you lost your bit of paper? This was an amazing book. I love this book so much. If you've not read it, recommend it. It's amazing. Okay, so the next charity shop I'm going to is Mind. Very sparkly bag there in the window. Like six quid. I think that would have been like cheap and new, to be honest. That is like <laughs> probably from like Poundland or something. I don't know. Okay, next up it's the Cats Protection Charity Shop. Meow! It's an interesting uh, title, Seance on a Wet Afternoon. <laughs> well, it's no better time to uh, talk to the dead. Now, I've never read this and I've never watched the show and it's something I've wanted to, so it is a pound. So I'm gonna grab this. Is that, um, what's the name, Reese Witherspoon? I don't know. I read this book recently. It was amazing. Next up, gonna go in Sue Ryder. 50p, everything's 50p in this box and that box. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Ooh, look. This is cool. I'm gonna get them. There's an old sewing machine in the window. Makes me think of my grandma. Hi, mate. Wait, that depends which one. Which uh, helps South End's homeless people. It's very uh, sparkly, sparkly, sparkly.
That is very creepy. <laughs> it's like a man's t-shirt, but it is very weird. I don't like it. Dad by day, Batman by night. <laughs> in this um, super dry jacket but uh, oh, it's a box parker apparently but it's it's a tenner so nah oh my they would make me even taller than the shoes I saw before look at that thick wedge <laughs> I do like the uh, rainbow laces though but they're very dirty so nah 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 Oh god, what is it with the creepy t-shirts, man? Look at this one. Is that, what's his name, isn't it? Oh, I can't think of his name, the Slasher. Freddy? No, it's not Freddy. Jason? <laughs> you, can, you can see I'm not like a big horror fan. One of my favourite albums of all time, actually. The Immaculate Collection by Madonna. I love this album. It's got some classics on it. Ooh, I see a few Agatha Christie books. There's one up here as well. Okay, so I'm back from the charity shops now, so I thought I'd do a little quick haul to show you what I got. Hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me. Sorry I didn't get loads of footage. I tried my best, but it's always really difficult filming in charity shops because, you know, they're small shops. They're, you know, normally run by, like, volunteers and stuff, and you know they're not like the big shops that you'd see in the high street so the staff do kind of look at you like what you doing what you doing with that phone you know so i always have to be quite careful filming but i managed to get a bit of footage so it's all good um so yeah let me show you what i got so first of all we have this very rare and vintage sweater so it is from the sweater shop now i am 42 so i remember when the sweater shop was like a big thing very on trend um, 90s kind of style clothing, um, just everyone had them at school, different colours and designs and uh, yeah I always know to look out for like vintage clothing like Sweatershop, Benetton, CNA, that kind of thing because they do sell well on eBay. You know obviously they're so old and they're not in existence anymore so people can't get them so they look them up on eBay so that's why they, they sell quite well. I have looked quickly on eBay before I film in this part of the video and there are lots of different sweatshops, uh, jumpers on there and stuff, all different designs and they are selling quite well so I'm hoping this is going to be a good buy. I did pay £7 for this which was a little bit much, I wouldn't normally pay that much but as I say, it is vintage, it is the sweater shop, and not only is the label cool, but the actual design is really cool, like some of the other sweater shop sweaters they're selling online um, on eBay are quite boring, and they're going for quite a lot, and I'm like, oh, my one's like multicoloured like squares, so hopefully, hopefully <laughs> it will sell well, and I'll make a bit of profit on that one, and it is really cool, um, it's just plain at the back, um, but the front is where, where it's at, all the action, so yeah, that was that, uh, then I have the skirt, the, well, it's kind of like a kilt, isn't it? It's like a, a Scottish kilt skirt thing. Um, this is from Dorothy Perkins, size 16. Originally it was £4, but I got it on the pound rail for a pound. So that was a result. Like the colouring of it, the black, white, grey um, check. Very nice. And I love these little, um, bet I've got to do this one up, but I'll, I'll do that in a bit. But yeah, I love these like little belts and stuff at the top, like the mini belts. So got that and got this skirt as well this was on the pound rail it's like a long brown it doesn't look brown in this color uh like lighting in this room but take my word for it, it is brown <laughs> um like a velvet long skirt from primark size 18 and also this was originally um four pound reduced to a pound on the rail so yeah it's not like a nice elasticated waist there always good when you've eaten a lot and you've got an elasticated waist so much more comfortable than tight trousers and stuff. Um, but yeah, that is uh, hopefully going to do well. I've also managed to pick up the kids. I think this was not. Hold on. What was it? I can't remember now. Ah, where is it? Oh, yeah. Um, six to nine. There we go. Six to nine months. Um, kids England kit. So you've got the little T-shirt here 
with the shorts. I was a little bit worried that it wasn't official, like it was a fake. But when I looked, it has got all the Nike, uh, or Nike, whatever you say, uh, <laughs> um, labels on and stuff. Look, like, is the official clothing from Nike, so that's good. Um, football merchandise, clothing, etc., always does quite well on eBay, so I thought I would get that. I mean, two quid, bargain. Um, then I have this night dress. How much did I pay for this? I can't remember. Yeah, this was £3. This is a Primark night dress, XL, and it is size 18, 20. I'm trying to open it up. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. So it is the one that only Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. So yeah, that is uh, hopefully going to be good. Disney stuff does well and Primark stuff does really well. So And it's Mickey Mouse. Who don't love Mickey Mouse? Okay, so next up, I managed to find this. This was in, where did I get this? The Mind Shop, I think. So this is brand new with tags. It was 5 75 I think. Or 5 95 to be exact. And uh, yeah, it is brand new with tags. Originally, it was, uh, I think, 13 Yeah, originally it was £13. And it is from Primark, size 20. And it's like a tartan dress, like a pinafore kind of dress. I actually really love this for myself. Like, I think it's so nice. But I'm going to be honest, I am going to pop it on eBay because two, two things. Number one, it will probably sell well because it's a size 20. It's Primark and it's new with tags. If you can get things new with tags, obviously they're going to sell better than things that are used. Um, and also I think it looks that kind of, I don't know, it could be a bit clingy on me. And I prefer my, my dresses to be a bit more floaty and kind of, you know, A-line style uh, to cover my, my lumps and bumps. But um, it is really nice. I do like it. I love that kind of tartan pattern and, and colouring of the, the blue and the green and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully that will do good. Uh, then we have this tie. Now, I sold one of these a while ago, so um, now I'm selling another one. <laughs> this isn't the same one, by the way. Uh, this is the Flintstones tie. Um, I love the Flintstones so much. Yabba dabba do time. Anyway, um, and actually, I love the Flintstones so much that I named my goldfish Wilma from the Flintstones. So there we go. Uh, I did have uh, Fred as well, but sadly he died. But anyway, so yeah, I got this. Uh, this was a pound. So, you know, anything I make more than a pound is, is a bargain. Um, now, these I got for myself, these few little bits. So, first of all, in the 50p box um, in Sue Rider, how much were they originally? Originally a pound, taken down to 50p. These are fashion nails, and you know, or if you don't know, you know now. I love wearing false nails, um, especially in videos on my other channel, Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Check it out, links down below, hint, hint. Um, and so, yeah, I love doing videos with fake nails and stuff because my nails are really short. They just don't grow, whatever I do to them. Or they do for a few days and they break. But I love wearing fake nails in videos. And I really think these are so cool, like the Union Jacks. I've not got any uh, false nails with like Union Jack designs. So I was like, oh, 50p, I'll have those. Um, the other thing I got myself is this little badge because it had a little teddy bear on. So this is going to go, Nathan, uh, my fiance, if you don't know, if you're new here, uh, he's going to put it on um, my jacket for me because I, I know it's silly, but whenever I put badges and things on my jacket, I obviously don't like do them properly because they just drop off. <laughs> Maybe I don't like press it in enough. I don't know. But yeah, this is actually originally a Woolworths uh, badge. Um, you remember Woolworths? I used to love Woolworths. But yeah, this is a woolly bear um, little um, pin badge. And I also got this book here, which is called Little Fires Everywhere um celeste ng is that is that how you say it but yeah this is the cover from the netflix i think it's on netflix show somewhere it's either amazon or netflix i can't remember but um i've heard about this a lot this book is i know really popular and obviously the show is really popular um so i'm like do you know what for a pound it's worth a try it's supposed to be like a really good like thriller um so yeah i'm i'm quite interested in this one i want to watch the show as well um oh here are. there's a quote here from jody pickle that says i read little fires ever in a single breathless sitting you know if you read a book in one sitting you can't put it down it's got to be good anyway so that's my little treat for myself now for ebay um how much i pay three pound for these this is a box set of the chronicles of narnia books now i sold some recently as well um but they were a different box set the books look different and there were more of them so these i think there's how many one two three four five six seven seven books in this little box set um i mean the box set is in quite good condition you can see it's a little bit worn 
on the box outside obviously because it's, it's quite an old box set as you can see it's not one of the newer ones but some people like that some people like the fact that they are quite older ones and not the newer narnia books you know what i mean so yeah i mean it's i think it's overall in good condition for its age um what have we got here these are the uh stories we've got the magician's nephew lion witch in the wardrobe the horse and his boy prince caspian the voyage of the dawn treader silver chair and the last battle so there's all the covers for them that are inside i did have a little quick look and the books do look in good condition and stuff for their time so yeah it's worth a try box sets of books uh seem to do good so i, I always you know give it a go now here <laughs> We move on to the coin drop game. Now, this is really weird. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know this. If you're not, I'll tell you the story really quickly. Around Christmas time, when I was doing all the Christmas shopping and stuff, obviously, because it's Christmas time, that's why I was doing Christmas shopping. But anyway, um, I went into the works and I was so tempted to get this for Nathan as a, as a Christmas gift because whenever we go down the seaside, down the seaside, in the arcades and stuff, he loves the, like, 2P machines. I like them. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy them, but he, like, likes, likes them. He, he would just stand there for ages. I'm like, come on. Come on. <laughs> to, like, drag him off. And I kind of get it, though. They are quite addictive machines. But I've seen exactly the same thing in the works. I think it was, like, 12, either 12 or 15 quid. And... I remember filming that day, I was vlogging in the works, and I was like, oh, should I get this? And But then there was something else, and I wasn't sure, so I ended up getting the other item for his Christmas present instead, um, somewhat aeroplane, airfix model. But anyway, so yeah, went in there today into the Samaritans and saw it for three quid. Now, it has been obviously opened and used, it's not brand new or anything, but it's been tested, and it does work, so I can show you it working. Hold on. There we go. You can see it moving. I mean, obviously, it's better on a flat surface. I'm just doing it quick for now. But you put your coins in. You can also use uh, real coins as well. So, you know, put your monies in there. But, yeah, it's obviously not on a flat surface. But it does work because we tested it over there on the cupboard. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> now, here's the thing. Like, I don't know what to do with this because I showed it to Nathan. We were like, oh, we'll have a little play of that and stuff. Now, I'm not sure if to either keep it or put it on eBay, because I suppose once we've played it a bit, like, do you know what I mean? Um, and that is why, also the reason why I didn't get that for him for Christmas, is that once we've played it, it's kind of like, do you know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know if it'd sell well on eBay. It might not. I mean, if it's going to just go for like a pound or whatever, then we'll keep it. But then I was thinking I could use it in, um, like I do like a book, a lot of book videos on this channel and I do like a TBR game. And I was thinking maybe I could somehow involve this in the game or something. I don't know. I'm not sure at the moment what I'm going to do with it, but I know for certain we'll definitely be playing it tonight. <laughs> Even if we have just a little bit of fun with it and then pop it on eBay. I don't know yet. It's up in the air. Anyway, and the last thing I want to show you is this book, American Dirt. And this is actually for myself. Now, I've already got this book by Jeannie Cummins um, on my bookcase next door. But I've got the paperback version. And this is the hardback version, which I always prefer hardbacks, really, because the font size in hardback books, nine times out of ten, are, yeah, bigger and easier for me to read. When I read, I do have to wear glasses and stuff and... You know, sometimes if the font is, like, really tiny, it can, like, strain my eyes and stuff. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty. Um, so, yeah. Oh, wow, I love the white and the blue. That's really nice. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure um, when I'll read this. But, I, as I say, I do have this book. So, I'm going to put the paperback version, which I haven't read on eBay, and keep the hardback version. This is supposed to be really, really good, by the way. So, I will get to read it this year. It's one of my I'm going to read this year books. So there we go, that is the little haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share video out, and please, um, it really, you know, helps me and makes me smile if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, let's help make this channel grow, and uh, I really appreciate if you just press that subscribe button and the notification bell to all notifications and, you know, stuff like that. All that jazz. <laughs> um, also, don't forget to check out Minx Laura 123 ASMR, my other channel. Links down below to that. Also, come and follow me on the socials. We've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, we've got TikTok, or as I like to say, tickety tick tock tick. Um, all those links <laughs> down below. And if you are a bookworm like me, I'd love for you to come and follow me on Goodreads, uh, the app for bookworms like me. So you can see what books I've read and what books I want to read, that kind of thing. So, yeah, okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon, and 
goodbye. <laughs>